y'all. So, Project Mouse. I haven't done much to it in a while. I did or order a cargo net after doing some research, and I wanted to show you guys what we ended up with. So, this net is made by Trail Tough Nets. It mounts to your upper seatbelt brackets, and then it mounts down in here to the lower pivot point brackets of the upper backrest. Now Trail Tough runs about 80 bucks a net plus about six dollars for shipping. Overall impression, for what I paid for it, it's a solid net. It's gonna do what I wanted it to do. It's gonna keep the dog in the back of my hatch. It's not meant as a restraint system or to prevent anything from flying forward in a rollover, but it should stop stuff from sliding around. One of my biggest gripes with this kit was for a simple fact, their mounting hardware. They say they have a lower bracket. This is what you get in your kit. It's two washers tack welded together. And uh, if I can get you guys a close up. Single tack weld. Let me flip it over, it's got two tack welds on this side. Now this might work to hold the net steady, but I wasn't confident in it. I went online, did some research, and I found these C-belt brackets from an, another net company that actually makes a more expensive cargo net for the XJs. Um, that net runs almost $200 and I didn't have the funds for it and the Trail Tough net was half the price so it was a little more cost effective for this family road trip we're getting ready for and to keep my dog simply in the back of the Jeep. Um, you could do the net like I said, it was 86 bucks shipped, plus five bucks for a set of brackets, and you still get a solid product. I mean, it'll hold up with the T50 Torx bits, and then down low with a 15 millimeter uh, wrench, ratchet wrench, or socket, whatever you prefer to use. For anybody looking for something to use as a cargo divider without the rattling of a metal cargo divider, if you don't want to spend $200 on a stitched net, the Trail Tough net is riveted, which makes it more cost effective to make, I believe. And I recommend it. It's good fitment, good quality. It'll do its job to keep stuff from sliding around. Um, let me get in here and I'll show you guys how I mounted it up under the seat. Kind of hard to see under here, but if you look. Right here, the carabiner. Then you go into the buckle. And it's actually got a buckle right here that you pull tight to hold the net secure. Man, it, here, this one's showing better. You can see the carabiner set up with my C brackets that I bought. Um, let's see if I can get in there for you guys. That should show it to you. Like I said, the only gripe I had was their seat brackets and simple fix, not a big problem. Overall I spent 90 bucks and I have a product that will keep my dog where I want her to and maybe anything I put in the back from sliding forward. So that being said, it all fits tight and secure. <coughs> Trailtough.net, I'll put the link in the comments. Unless you guys are looking to spend big money. I think I eventually I might go to a roll cage in this Cherokee after rolling my last truck. And, <clears throat> pardon my movement, trying to get the seat back up. After rolling my last truck, I'm really thinking this will be a good temporary net for driving around with the family. Maybe some mild wheeling. And when I go to a cage, if this net doesn't fit properly, then I'll look at doing something else. Hopefully you enjoy the video.